Less than a year after we got SmackDown for the PlayStation, we got the sequel, WWF SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. You had to know, given the small amount of time it took to develop the game, that it would simply be a rewrapped version of the original. And it was. But to give THQ some credit, there were some pretty decent improvements. The menus... I'm still bugged the hell out of me. I mean, they really didn't change that much. They still have the same annoying sounds and this computer mainframe style of appearance. Oh, and the menu music? Well... Yeah. The roster is pretty much the same as it appeared in the previous title, with a few additions, the biggest being Kurt Angle. A lot of superstars need to be unlocked, like Billy Gunn, HBK, Austin, Foley, and some others. And a few other characters feature persona changes, like The Good Father and American Badass Undertaker, which, by the way, makes his entrance with the Raw is War theme nice. Oh, and if you think they improved on those horrible entrances they had, uh-uh. Same old crap. I hate these damn entrances. Some of them even feature fake pyro that you can hear but not really see. It's just really weird. As far as gameplay goes, this is the same game. Nothing's changed as far as I can tell. I mean, literally nothing. It plays identical. But if you were one of those gamers that just didn't get or didn't want to get the war zones and attitudes of the wrestling game world, then you're probably happy with this. I didn't mind it. it it was just very fast paced and hectic, a bit much at times. And in case you haven't noticed, this game hasn't changed in the graphics department either. But that's not exactly a bad thing, I thought the first game looked pretty good and so does this one. Hardcore matches are back, and again the weapons feel a bit paper-like. I find it hilarious that these wrestlers pick up and swing around things like couches with the greatest of ease. The backstage areas were vastly expanded and this was something I really appreciated as this was the Attitude Era and I was used to watching somebody get their ass handed to them backstage on TV every week. There are a lot of weapons available for you to use. As a matter of fact, there are more usable objects in this game than the current WWE 2K14 game. Though they added a bunch of new backstage areas, they didn't bother to add any new stages. You still just have Raw, SmackDown, and a generic pay-per-view house show type of arena. Sure, you can add your own ring skirts to make it feel like it's WrestleMania, but it just doesn't deliver, and that's quite disappointing. And believe it or not, it would be a few more games before we got a decent selection of arenas. On a side note, I always thought the loading screens were pretty cool. Lots of nice, high-quality pictures of WWF superstars and divas. Something that they actually did away with for a while, but recently made a comeback in the series. Along with the hardcore match, the other match types seen in the previous title return here as well. And this brings us to the new match types. Hell in a Cell. Everybody wanted it in the first game, and now we got it. But wait, this just looks like hell in a cage match with a roof on top. It really doesn't resemble a proper hell in a cell match. If you want to exit the cell, you simply throw your opponent into the ropes and they'll just fly right on out. You can climb up onto it, which is always a cool thing, but for some reason I always thought the middle piece was destructible in this game, but as hard as I tried, I couldn't break through, so I'm guessing I'm just mistaken. There is an invisible boundary on top of the cell, which helps you from falling off of it, but you can still throw an opponent off. It happens so quickly though and feels so airy that it's not all that satisfying. Casket match is a decent addition here. Again, I, I can't help but laugh how these wrestlers that weigh 200 pounds swing around this 300 pound casket like it's a baseball bat. In this match type, you pretty much just want to get your opponent into the casket and at a certain point when they've been beaten enough, victory is yours. Tables were a huge part of the industry at this time, especially with the Dudleys around, so a table match was pretty much a must, and they did a pretty good job here with this match type. It holds up a little better than some of the others. 
Obviously, the only point to the match really is to put your opponent through a table. And though it seems simple enough, you'll need to fatigue your opponent quite a bit before he'll go through that table. Ladder match is also new to the series, and while being a pretty necessary match type, I don't find it all that entertaining, especially since the opponents always get up so damn quickly. But nevertheless, we wanted it, we asked for it, and they gave it to us. And I've definitely played worse ladder matches in WWF games. <coughs> WrestleMania 21. Royal Rumble makes a return, and I couldn't be more disappointed. Let me explain. The game plays the same, the match type is the same, but what the hell is up with the load times? I could go walk my dog in the time it takes a superstar to load. The previous game had a load time, but it wasn't nearly as long. I mean, look how bad this is. Wow. And when you have numerous people about to hit the ring, well, <laughs> Forget about it. I really don't have the patience for this kind of stuff, and I honestly can't remember playing a Royal Rumble all the way through to the end. Wow, this is this is just plain bad. Create a wrestler was improved, and thank God. This time around, you can still use the preset faces and body parts, which is nice to have. So nice, actually, that it made a return this year in 2K14 as superstar heads. That being said, being limited to this is just absolutely ridiculous, which they finally noticed, so in SmackDown 2, you can actually edit just about every aspect of your wrestler. Eyes, nose, mouth, hair, tattoos. Wow, a real creator wrestler. Though the tattoos look more like watercolor paintings, but nevertheless, it's all there. Also included are some move sets from popular wrestlers in rival companies such as WCW, which in my opinion really opens up the replay value of the game. Having a proper collection of created wrestlers is vital to my wrestling game experience. Another addition, which I miss dearly to this day, is the Create a Taunt feature. This made for some very cool, funny, and just plain bizarre creations throughout the years. 2K, bring this feature back. Season mode this time around, well, it sucks. I'm, I know that's just my opinion, but I hate it. It takes forever for even the smallest little moment to load. Most of the cutscenes are five seconds long and repetitive beyond belief. And every single time you skip a match, you still have to watch a simulated version take place in the way of life meters battling back and forth. And once you commit to a card, you can't quit or back out until that entire show is done and over with. Now, there are some good moments like unlocking superstars and such, but I don't care. I don't like this mode. If you liked SmackDown, this game improves on it. More wrestlers, more match types. Some of the same mistakes were made, but ultimately, this is a superior game. And you could feel at the time that they were on the right track. It would only be a few more years until they perfected this formula, but that game is for another episode, another time. Until then, thanks for watching. Without you viewers, I'm just a guy talking to myself. <laughs>